The doctor is on call. We're heading to our health watch this morning where we talk about all topics trending in the medical world. And Eric Arias is in Studio 61. Hey, friends. Hi, Keith. Thanks so much. Yeah, as always, we're joined by Dr. Syed Hussein from Trinity Health of New England. And we're starting on Black Maternal Health Week. It is this week. It's wrapping up now. And according to the CDC, 80% of pregnancy-related deaths here in the U.S. are preventable. Now, younger generations are when women of color are choosing to freeze their eggs and, and looking at different birthing methods. What should women of color know and be aware of, especially if their only option is to go to the hospital? Yeah, it's really tragic, um, Erica. When you look at we we live in the most advanced nation on the planet with so many resources, yet those disparities persist. So I, I, like you said, 80% of these uh, pregnancy-related deaths are preventable, which is huge. But black women are three times more likely to have an adverse outcome or even death compared to white women, mm -hmm. which, under, which basically then goes into you know, disparities that exist that I, told, that I just said, but also access to healthcare, making sure you have a provider. So before you look at any of these alternative birthing methods or anything, mm -hmm. first and foremost is make sure you have access to a provider. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know what the warning signs and symptoms are. Are you having a persistent, terrible headache? Do you have um, uh, swelling in your face or arms? Or you know, are you persistently fatigued? Mm -hmm. um, you bleeding know, is always a sign to bleeding, see Bleeding, 100%. Yeah. Uh, um, and, so, and shortness of breath. So these are warning signs which may be, uh, you know, there may be a potentially life-threatening complication there. So um, suffice to say, make sure you have access to health care, um, first and foremost, and then not only during pregnancy, but also during the uh, period after and delivery. And it's one of those things, like, if, if you think there's something wrong, but you don't want, don't hesitate. Absolutely. Just ask, yeah. Right. And there's more that we need to do from start. both from a healthcare perspective as well as educating uh, patients. All right. Now, all of us are trying to maintain a healthy diet, and there's a new term out there. Some people might not be familiar with this. Orthorexia. Talk about what this is all about. Yeah, this is a preoccupation, almost an obsession, mm -hmm. um, uh, Erica, with clean eating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the same lines of anorexia, bulimia, nervosa, but um, it's this preoccupation with eating that is linked to a certain body image or shape. Um, and there's an obsession with just healthy eating. So folks around this individual may not be picking up signs, mm -hmm. but ultimately it leads to just not a good state. Um, so it's important that you seek care, uh, therapy, same things that we use for other uh, similar conditions. What would you say some of the warning signs might be? Uh, for instance, if you have a friend who's going into, you know, you're meeting them for dinner, but they're extremely choosy in terms of what they're eating. And basically, people go to an extent where they stop eating anything because it doesn't fit what they're looking what for the, in terms of clean food. What the food. definition of Absolutely. clean So obviously any obsessive behaviors. Absolutely. All right. And we were talking about this yesterday. We've seen a lot of this. Probably you've seen this a lot at the grocery stores. Functional drinks, drinks with different minerals or vitamins in them, saying that it will give you more energy, help you, you know, find some mental clarity. What are all these about? And are they actually doing what they're saying they're supposed yeah, that, to do? Yeah, that's a great question. There's a whole section these days in oh, supermarkets. Yeah. It started with high Especially caffeine online, energy drinks. You see it on the Instagram that's as right. well. That's right. So there are a couple of ingredients folks need to be aware of. There are mm -hmm. adaptogens, which are basically derived from mushrooms and plants, which basically can relieve anxiety and stress. Um, and uh, ginseng, for instance, mm -hmm. or ashwagandha are examples. There's probiotics that may help with gut flora, for instance, the good bacteria in your mm -hmm. gut, which is found in cheese and yogurt. And there's CBD which is an active ingredient of marijuana, which can be used in epilepsy, stress, anxiety, to relieve all of those symptoms, doesn't necessarily cause a high. Mm -hmm. Here's the bottom line for viewers. Make sure you check what medications you're on because you don't want a drug to drug uh, interaction or an ingredient to drug interaction and make sure you run it by your healthcare provider because you may have certain uh, medical conditions that may not predispose you, especially if you have a heart condition, for instance, and you're having all of these high energy, high caffeine drinks that may not be uh, uh, desirable. Now, a lot of these uh, ingredients in the products like uh, ashwagandha you mentioned and uh, some of the other vitamins uh, and uh, ginseng, things like that, sure. they're available in pill form as well. Is there some sort of advantage to drinking it versus taking it in the pill form? It's just easier to drink a, a probiotic. A another one as well, you can take a probiotic That's pill. Right. Is there an advantage to drinking it over, over taking it in a pill form or vice versa? Not necessarily. Um, it's just because it's, you know, you're, you're trying to substitute something in terms of drinking. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes there are folks who may be drinking alcohol and they may 
choose to switch on to a drink, for instance, um, uh, one of these functional drinks, but not not necessarily. Okay. Well, it is really interesting because we're seeing a lot of it at the grocery store we are. online and Instagram on social media. So That's right. Thanks for sorting it through for us. Sure. We do appreciate that, Dr. Tucker. Thank you. Oh, it's always very helpful.